Hello, good people. Welcome to Good Math with Miss B. We're multiplying rational expressions today. So example number one out of, I believe, eight examples, six examples, oh, look at that, is multiplying monomials. And so when we're multiplying monomials, we're just going to go ahead and multiply across. So blue times purple and then pink times orange, okay? So 3 times uh, 10 is 30, x5, x3, x8, y3, y4, y7, 2 times 9 is 18 x3, x squared, x5, and y7, y5 is y12. I'm going to simplify 30 over 18 just like any other fraction that's 30 over 18. I'm going to get 5 thirds, and then we're going to use our exponent rules to simplify x8 over x5. I'm going to have three x's left over when I simplify, and those three x's are left on the top. And then I have y7, y12. When I simplify those out, I'm going to have five y's left over, but those y's are going to be left on the bottom because the 12 was bigger and was on the bottom. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my final answer. So then I am going to go on to example number two out of six. These are not monomials. These are binomials. So I'm going to uh, factor what I can factor before I multiply across, right? So the pink part for x plus 20 has a GCF of 4. I want to make sure that I factor out that GCF. So then the orange part is the difference of 2 squares. So I want to make sure I say x plus 3, x minus 3. Ta-da! Once I factor, now I can go back to multiplying across. So, oh, actually, no, just kidding. Forget what I said. You're going to simplify. <laughs> If I have x minus 3 on top, x minus 3 on the bottom, we're going to go ahead and check, check, get them, get those bad boys out of there. And then x plus 5, x plus 5, get those bad boys out of there. 1 over 4, parentheses, x plus 3. And if you can, multiply anything that's left so that your problem looks nice and neat and tidy for your final answer. So for x plus 3, it was multiplied by 4. So that gave us for x plus 20 plus 12. What am I saying? Now for problems like this, we like to make sure that we define the domain. So you're going to set your denominator equal to 0. So from that last problem, your denominator, your the factored form of your denominator was x plus 5, x minus 3, x plus 3. And so you set those equal to 0, so the domain is all real numbers except for negative 5, negative 3, and positive 3. Let's move on to example number 3. This is monomials. Monomials, let's remember, let's just multiply across. 20, x to the 8th, because x plus x times x to the 7th is x to the 8th. And then 15 times 2 is 30. x times x to the 4 is x to the 5th. Simplify the coefficients and simplify the variables. 20 over 30 is 2 thirds. x cubed over x to the fifth. x is, gives me, blah, 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 blah. sorry, x to the eighth over x to the fifth is x cubed on top. Wow. A little bit of the struggle bus with the words, but the math is math. Set that denominator equal to zero, baby. X is all real numbers except for zero. Okay? Number four, we're halfway done. We are going to multiply, but we're doing binomials and trinomials. So you want to check to see if you can factor first. The blue part has a GCF of 10. The pink part is a trinomial where a is equal to 1. We're going to factor that bad boy. The purple part is prime. And the orange part has a G C F baby. So now we want to see if anything's going to simplify out. I have x minus 4, x minus 4. We're going to get rid of those. One on top, one on bottom. x plus 3, x plus 3. Put one on top, one on the bottom. Get rid of those. What's left? I have a 10 on top. On the bottom, I have a x minus 2 and a 5. 
So again, make sure your answer is nice and tidy at the end, so you're going to multiply as possible. Ba -ba -da -ba! And that is your answer. Define the domain. So you took your denominator, you set them equal to zero, x is all real numbers, such except for negative three, two, and four. Example number five out of six. Okay, we have trinomials here, binomials here. We got everything needs to be factored, so you might need to do some side work. So with that side work, do the blue part separately. Do the pink part separately. Do the purple part separately. And do the orange part separately. If you don't know how to factor trinomials, I have videos on that. Please go find them. Yay. Anyway, <laughs> now that you have everything nice and factored, then you're going to replace those problems with the factored form. Ta-da! So now that you've done that, now let's check to see if anything simplifies. n plus 1, n plus 1, n plus 3, n plus 3, n minus 3, n minus 3. Get out of here. What's left on top is a 2 and then a 2n minus 1. On the bottom is a n plus 6. Multiply if possible because you want your answer all nice and neat and tidy. And ta-da! So you're going to take your denominator, which is the pink part, and the orange part, the factored form of your denominator, you're going to set it equal to zero. And so you're going to say n is all real numbers except for negative 6, negative 3, negative 1, and 3. Yay! Last but not least, number 6. We are going to factor. We're going to factor the blue part. So you need to pause the video. Practice your factoring. Don't think you just got it, all right? This is a blue part, is a GCF. The pink part, trinomial A equals one. Purple part is prime. The orange part has a GCF. Yes. So now I'm gonna use the factor form of my problem. I'm gonna simplify. What I can simplify, and what's left over is a 10 on top, on the bottom is a 5, and then x minus 2. And we're going to multiply, if possible, so that my answer is nice and tidy and neat. And you got to find the domain. So the original denominators, you want to make sure that you factor, use the factored form. You already did that in the previous slide. And then set them bad boys equal to 0. That's it. You did it. Yay, you! Congratulations. Go back through the video. Go through your notes. Make sure you can do the problems on your own. Okay? If you don't know how to factor, go find you some the factoring videos. I have a whole playlist on factoring. And then after that, if you don't know what to do, watch the video again. All right. I'll catch you in the next one. Be good.